guys, this is Alex at FightStorePro.com and this is my home gym vlog series. I'm going to think of a better name for than that, but that's what I'm calling it this morning. So, first up, we have our Aqua Bag. Now, these came out a few years ago and they came amid all sorts of marketing claims, but I'm going to ignore all of those and just get to the point. An Aqua Bag is a bag that you fill with water, hence the name. They come in various different sizes and nowadays there's half a dozen different brands all basically doing the same thing. I can only comment on this, which is the original version, but I would imagine pretty much all of them are copies of this one. It comes in various sizes. I think there was five options. This is the second size up. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is its suitability for home use because this is what the whole vlog's about. So the main advantage of the aqua bag is that you fill it with water and the reason that this is an advantage is it's easy to ship i.e. any courier can bring it to you. Once you get bags above about 40 kilos couriers get really upset about having to move them and then it's a two man lift and then there's all sorts of bother and secondarily they don't take up much space which is another major advantage if you've only got a limited space for training. Now, they come flat packed in a small box, the box is somewhere over there, with some destructions or instructions. They come with this heavy duty D clip here, and that's it. This, these are a pair of uh, bungee cables that I'm using to currently hang this with. They don't come with any kind of rope or strap or attachment to hang it to your ceiling. So if you're thinking of buying one of these, make sure you get some advice on something to hang it with. Any kind of heavy duty chain with some, with some um, D clips should do the job, but make sure you buy fairly heavy duty ones because cheap crap at B&Q is going to snap in no time at all. So if you're buying a chain for it, make sure you buy something which is fit for the job. Even though this one's a small one, water weighs really heavy. I'd say that's probably about 15 or 20 kilos. So you got to think about this. Now, the way you fill it, it comes, it's a pretty dense material, this bag. And it comes with, the, I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. But it comes with a little screw cap that you need a screwdriver to open it up. You open it up and it also comes with this. And the, the instructions say, attach it to the end of your hose pipe, insert and off away you go. Well, it ain't as simple as that at all. First of all, so I, I went off to the DIY store to buy one of these and I evidently got the wrong one because we have the end for the hose pipe right there, which we have a said hose pipe outside, but this bit here didn't fit into this bit. So I'm probably gonna have to clip these little bits off and then screw it on cap. So if little Johnny has ordered one of these for Christmas or birthday, and he's uh, thinking he's going to hit the bag on day one and dad hasn't been seriously, seriously organised and had a good look at it. He's going to be knackered until all the shops open, which will be Boxing Day. But So make sure you've got a hose. That's number one because that ain't going to be cheap if you ain't got one. Number two, make sure you've got some type of attachment. Now, in fairness... I managed to fill this without using this at all. I kind of stuffed the hose pipe into this and held it in really tight and sprayed myself with water, which was loads of fun, obviously. But I did manage to get the thing pretty much full. So next up, hanging the thing. I don't see any advantage in one of these once it gets past about this size. You could get a wreck, you know, once you get to a certain size, you could get kind of a wrecking ball size one or um, certainly a four foot heavy bag, teardrop bag if you want in a different kind of shape. But the smaller sizes, I definitely see some real use for. First of all, the fact that it's weighing 15, 20 kilos, but in a very dense space means that it gives you a lot of resistance on the shots, which 
a much lighter, you know, normal standard um, cloth stuffed heavy bag wouldn't do. But the, the density of it makes it a really good target. It makes it a really good bag to hit, especially for working your boxing combinations and your footwork. So I really liked it for that. I really, really liked it for that. Hanging it, I like the bungee cord. A chain would swing differently. This takes a little bit of the pressure out of it. Now, you probably can't see this. I'll, I'll do it in a second. Make sure, oh, I'll bring them down, I'll bring them down. So I hung it to the ceiling, I used, uh, I used a hook. And make sure you get one of these swivel and snaps. It means that it doesn't, it won't lock the chain up and it moves and it reduces the stress on your attachment to the ceiling. Also, when you set the thing up, Make sure it goes into a joist, something fairly solid, or if you're gonna use a bag bracket, that's gonna do fine. Make sure you get a bag bracket that is strong enough to hold the weight that it's holding. Let's talk about this bag in use. Now, I've got the second size one, and it goes up to being really big. Now, a really big one is gonna weigh a ton. It's gonna weigh a lot more than a standard heavy bag. I've used the bigger ones in gyms and frankly I see absolutely no advantage to them whatsoever over a standard heavy bag in a professional gym setup. I see the main advantage of these things and this is my personal opinion in the smaller ones because they move around and create a lot of resistance to your shots for a very small target. So. Without actually doing this yourself, it's gonna be quite hard to describe, but because the thing is so heavy for the size it is and dense, when you actually hit it with shots, it doesn't swing around like crazy. So if you hit it with a couple of jabs, if you use double jab right hand, you actually have to use your footwork to follow it up, which is very, very realistic, and creates that little edge on your shots where if you're putting those sting in with your hips. So this, is a great piece of kit in the smaller sizes. In the bigger sizes, I can't see the advantage over a standard heavy bag and the fact that it's gonna weigh so much, in fact the instructions say, fill it whilst it's hung. Now I can see why if you're hanging on the bigger ones. The smaller ones, not so much, I don't think it matters. Using, I use a bungee to hang it. A, it doesn't make a racket. We've already talked about the chains, but I also like the fact that it gives it a little bit of um, a little bit of bounce on the ball. But there is one thing that I have to warn you about. This thing is really, really dense, and when you hit it, I think it's like hitting a sack of bricks. Frankly, it's very, very hard, and certainly in the small sizes, I think unless you're very careful about what gloves you use and make sure you wrap, then you know if you're not being very precise about your shots, you could end up with hand injuries with these things. So my advice with that is to make sure you use pretty, pretty thick bag gloves. Well, I've just done a vlog on bag gloves, so check that one out. And 100% wrap your hands to hit an aqua bag. The bigger ones I have used, and they're not as hard as this one. Maybe they'll soften up in time. I've only used this three or four times to date, but I think it's probably more to do with how small this one is and how dense it is. So the bigger ones, not so much. My summary for the Aqua Bag. The smaller ones, I see a lot of advantages for a home gym and even for professional level gym. The fact that it moves differently to any other bag that I've used, the weight versus size ratio, and its reaction to your shots, makes it a really interesting piece of kit to use. So, despite it being really heavy on your hands, which I've already mentioned, make sure you use hand wraps and good quality set of bag gloves, and it's not as easy as they make out to, to fill. It doesn't take up a lot of space, so when you unclip it, it'll sit anywhere in your garage, shed, whatever. It's not difficult to take up and down. That's another big plus if you haven't got a lot of space. 
and you can get a good workout with it in the same way you can with pretty much any other he heavy bag. Once you get to the larger ones, I think all the advantages are going to stop. Certainly much bigger than this, it's going to be a struggle to get it up and down in the same way that any normal heavy bag will be. You won't have the area of striking surface that you would with a larger heavy bag. And weight-wise, the larger ones of these are certainly going to weigh as much as a standard bag, but in a more dense package, which means it's pull against your joists or your bracket in your, in your garage is going to be much greater so I think those are all things to consider before you buy one but certainly the aqua bag on the whole gets a thumbs up from me check them out on firestorepro.com and we'll see you next time <laughs>